Wow. Tail of one of them just came up way high in the water column, so still down there rolling on each other and stuff. Golly, I just don't know if I can get them caught at this stage though. They're so in tune with each other, I don't know if they'll even try to bite a bait. Oop, got him. Nice. <laughs> We're here this afternoon on another really, really warm February day. It's February 22nd. I finally caught my first, first, second, and third bedding fish actually. Yesterday, February 21st. I usually catch a bedding fish a lot earlier than that in the year, but anyway, yesterday was my first day that I actually caught a bedding fish. I've seen a few, but I haven't actually caught one up until yesterday. And uh, yesterday was 83 degrees. Today's supposed to get up to 86. So that really has these fish moving shallow right now. Like I said, I caught three yesterday ever not, after not catching any the last few weeks that I've been looking around. So they're definitely moving up shallow. It's about 12:30 right now. So I've got a lot more time today than I've had the last few days also to look. So hoping to look at a few places today it's kind of weird too because tomorrow and then the rest of the week is supposed to actually be pretty cold it's supposed to have highs of only in the 50s and then the next week we're going to go back to highs around 80 so it's a really really weird weather weather pattern we got going on here in south texas this winter slash early spring as far as i can tell there's nobody fishing here right now that's really really rare well i guess there's probably yeah, there's somebody over there with a kid. I don't think they're fishing though. But anyway, like I was saying, that's really rare to not see people fishing here. As you can tell from all the trees, there's a lot of fishing that happens here. A lot of line hung up in those trees, unfortunately. It's definitely a danger for the birds and stuff around here. Should probably come out here and clean all this up one day with my kayak or something. But today, we're looking for some spawning females. There's some big old bass in here that I've caught in the past. I'd like to catch some that big again. Well, it's about 1.30 now. We're here at the next spot. And it looks like there's a guy fishing up here already. Golly. Yep, there's somebody fishing right here already. Well, I'm gonna leave him alone and go over to the next little area. I say the next little area, the area I'm going to actually is the big area. He's in a little, little kind of just pool of water right there that just stays there. This down here is more like an actual creek. In fact, there is water that runs through it. So, it, I mean, it is part of the creek, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is there's deeper water over here and it's much, much wider. It's actually like a real body of water. It's not just a little puddle like that is. There's definitely some bass that live down in there. I caught some last year, but the majority of them are gonna be over here by this deeper water. Thanks, man. Yep. Thanks. Somebody's fishing stuff right back there, but I don't see anybody down here. That's weird. Oh, there's a guy right down there. The fish hanging out right here. Seems to be a bed right here, and there was a fish hanging out right off of it. Hmm. 
something. Don't know. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around all the way to the other side. I don't want to be following this guy back into that creek, so I'm gonna walk around the other side and hopefully get a fresh side to fish. Well, it's about 2.30 now. Didn't see anything over here spawning in my second spot, so I've got another spot to go to kind of close by. So I'm gonna head down there real quick. Hopefully get on some spawning fish before it gets dark. Like I said, it's 2.30, so I've got a little bit of time, but I don't have a whole lot once it gets past about 4.30, 5 o'clock. It gets really, really difficult to even see down into the water, so I don't have a whole lot of time, but I should have enough time if they're spawning over there to catch a couple. All right, well, another swing and a miss. Went around this whole pond here. Didn't find anything worth stopping and throwing at. Saw a couple tiny little guys on beds, but they were real, real small. Not even big enough to get this craw to add. Anyway, I'm gonna try to hit one more spot before I head home here. Try to make this at least a semi-successful day. Well, I'm here at the next spot. Now I'm starting back here further than I would like because there was actually somebody already fishing right down there. So I'm trying to give him a bunch of space here. But I did want to get further back in here where I think that they're more likely spawning. This is where the warmer water should be all the way back in this creek here. So what I'm going to do is try to focus on the back here first. I don't see anything that will go back out that way, but this is where I think I should see them is further back in here. There's a little bass right there. Just a little male. Not seeing any sort of beds or anything around here though. Oh, I take that back. There's one right over there with a fish on it too. <laughs> Decent fish it looks like. Let's see if I can get this guy to bite. He's sitting right in the middle of the bed right now. Oh, heard my bait splash. He's watching it come in. Oh yeah, all over it. Oh, oh golly. <laughs> Didn't set the hook fast enough, but yeah. That fish is hot. He ran over there and ate my bait before it even got into his bed or right when it got to the edge of it. Okay. Well, this one's angry. We're going to get this one caught. Oh, yeah. He turns right towards it every time I bait it to the water. Looks right at it. Oh. Spinning around right now. Come on, dude. Go get that crawdad. Oh. All over it. Pick it up and spit it out. Oop. All over it. Come on, dude. Eat it. Wow. It's crazy how hot this fish is, but he won't actually eat the bait. Oop. Oop. There he picked it up and spit it out. Dang it. Before I could even set the hook. All right. Come on, dude. Let's do this. It's right in front of his face. Oop. Picked it up and spit it out again. Just a claw though. Oop, oop, golly. Keeps on picking up just a claw. Right in front of his face. Oop, oop, golly. That time he had a little bit more of it, but I don't know if he had enough. All right, well, I'm gonna quit fooling with this fish now. Got them all mad, all heated up. Throw the little nub out there. Should eat this thing real quick. So I call the nub just just a little piece of a trick worm. It's white, so I can see it. So they like to throw on fish after I get them all heated up. Generally, they won't eat a bait like this. It looks like nothing at all when you very first get over to them. But once you get them all heated up and fired up and just eating anything that comes in the bed this little nub out there and get them pretty quick just no appendages or anything to grab so he should be able to eat the whole thing if he wants to oh yeah he's watching it come in oh yeah going right over to it Oop. all over it come on come on Oop. spin it around come on dude pick it up <laughs> he's all over it 
still all over it. Come on. Wow. Crazy. Crazy how hot he is. How jacked up he'll get, but not actually eat the bait. Oop. All over it. Oop. Nipped at it, but he missed it. Come on, dude. Oop. Got him. There we go. <laughs> All right. Finally got him. Ate it good that time, too. Didn't just barely get him in the front of the nose. Got him all the way through. Almost in the eyeball, actually. Right by the eye socket. Just a little male, but healthy little dude. Tiny little mouth, but golly, he's got a real thick body. Over there being a good dad so far. Protecting that bed. Thank you for playing, buddy. That was fun. Well, I moved down the creek here quite a bit. I was hoping to find some more clear water down here, but seems to be pretty off color also pretty much like it was down there and this light is gonna have a terrible angle so I'm gonna call it right there I'm gonna make that the end of my day only caught that one little guy but that's all right it's really weird too like I said these last few days have been super super warm I expected a really big move to the bank from these spawning fish but it just doesn't seem like it's quite happening yet the rest of this week is about to get pretty cold for another five or six days again too so it's gonna throw another wrench into the plan it's kind of weird then it's gonna warm back up again so i don't know i feel like there's probably gonna be a pretty short spawn but it's gonna be fast and furious there's gonna be tons and tons of fish maybe going all at once all right it's march 6th and i'm back here again at the place that you see me the last couple of times fishing for spawning fish because I've looked at a other few places around here and I'm just not seeing it happen at all I'm not seeing any sort of spawning activity so I'm back over here again this afternoon to this creek where I've actually seen some already I've actually caught a few decent fish see if I can try to find a big one this afternoon it's not ideal conditions light wise it's real real overcast and pretty darn windy too so it's going to be hard to see down into the water but this water is pretty clear so this is a place where i have a decent chance i guess at least of seeing one but man it's going to be tough to see them today even though it's overcast like this it's supposed to get up to 83 degrees today it's 78 right now i just looked at my weather app before I walked over here so even though it's overcast it's really really warm and it's been super warm for the last four or five days in fact I would have been fishing the last couple days except for I hurt my thumb there my casting thumb got it bit by a dog so if I squeal like a little girl anytime today <laughs> when I set the hook or whatever it's because that thumb is hurting me it's still pretty tender but I just had to try to get out here and catch some fish. This kid just caught one over here it sounds like. Probably a bass on a bed. Yeah, it's a little bass. It's not that big. Oh golly. I just scared two of them from right here. They're pretty nice though. They spooked off but they're circling right back around. Oh yeah, getting closer to the bank now. I don't even see a bed up there though actually. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch these fish or not. Like I said, they're rubbing all over each other, so they're real, real in tune with each other. Maybe not my bait at all. I'm gonna try though, because there's one of them that's oh no, they're both way up in there now. Yep. There's two of them real close to the bank right here. Let's see if I can get one to bite. Oh yeah, I see the bed now. Yep. Definitely a bed there can't tell exactly oh yeah out there rubbing on each other again I think the one that's coming up way up in here is the male he's still trying to get that female to come up in here with him he just rubbed on her out there again but then he comes right up by the bed again all right I'm actually gonna back off for a second and try to let him get right up in there like they were when I first saw them they were right up near the bank when I first saw these fish 
Yeah, I'm just too close right now though. I do not want to get up in there with me right here. You know what? I'm going to actually keep going for right now. I'm going to check down this bank a little bit. And if I don't see anything here in just a second, or I say just a second, in a few minutes, I'm going to walk probably most of the way down this bank. And if I don't see anything, I'll circle back around and see if they're maybe a little bit more locked onto that bed by the time I get back over here. Or if maybe coming from this side is a little bit better of an angle too. Oh wow, yep, there's a nice looking bed. Don't see a fish anywhere around it, but oh yeah, yes I do. He was over there hanging out to the left. Yeah, I'm not seeing him again down there. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with him. He's not that big. I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to catch him if he's not that locked on. Don't see any beds up on this flat. That's pretty crazy. Usually this end of the creek. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of suns so I can see real nice too. I don't see nothing. But like I was saying, usually this end of the creek is where they're at big time. Not necessarily the real big ones, but see a whole bunch of spawners and I don't see anything over here right now. That's pretty crazy. All right, here we are back over at this nice pair I was seeing earlier. Hopefully they're a little bit more locked on right now. Hmm. Don't see either fish at the moment, but they just might be further, further up close to the bank where I can't see them. The wind blowing is not helping right now. Oh yeah, yep. Wow. Tail of one of them just came up way high in the water column, so. Still down there rolling on each other and stuff. Golly, I just don't know if I can get them caught at this stage though. They're so in tune with each other, I don't know if they'll even try to bite a bait. Golly, rubbing all over the side of one of them right there. Didn't even flinch. Ooh, yep, definitely whipped around on it right there. Definitely at my bait. Usually what happens is the male, oh, yep, oh no, he nipped at it right there. Dang it. Definitely bit at least the claws, okay. I was just about to say, usually what happens is you at least get the male mad enough to start nipping at the bait. That's what just happened. Like I said, the male, like I was saying earlier, the male is not much smaller though. They're pretty much the same size actually, so I like to catch either one of them, whichever one bites, really. I'm not going to specifically try to get the female or anything, especially with the one that's acting like the male, the one that just nipped at it. He's definitely hot. nice all of a sudden he ate it that was awesome <laughs> he just rolled up there and ate it all of a sudden just like he was supposed to Oop! just fell right out too that was awesome <laughs> just wiggling that little crawdad around all of a sudden he just ran up there and snatched it out of the middle middle of the water column that's a pretty nice one there I don't know that might actually be the female that's weird this one's real fat real real fat super nice fish try not to touch it too much with my thumb there but here's the other one right out there swimming out from the bank right now just because i'm getting so close to it but man that's a nice one there that was really cool <laughs> thank you for playing buddy that was fun all right all right all right that was awesome i put so much time into those fish finally got one of them to bite Pretty sure I can't get the other one to bite now. 
because like I said, they were they were real in tune with each other. I'm actually pretty surprised they even got that one to bite, but golly, I'm glad I did because that was fun and that was a nice one. right at it ah backed off a little bit there don't know why moved it kind of a lot there oh yeah oh she got him nice <laughs> 